Hey everybody, Cheryl here. I'm doing this video mostly for, I guess you'd say my mother and some of my um, family who have just kind of started paying attention to what I'm doing. And the big question I keep getting from my mom and from you know, some of her friends and whoever she's sharing my videos with is, what do you do with those little packages? Um, and this is what she's referring to as those little packages. And I figure, you know, I'll, I can also kind of do this for, um, do a ratio type video with this. And this is a video that most of you who are subscribed to me are not going to be interested in watching. Um, but I will probably label the video, um, how to mix my uh, my mixes in acrylic or something to to that effect because you know there are some people out there who probably don't really know um i did a video i don't know about seven months ago um where somebody asked me if they can use my mixes in nail polish and for the most part yes you can um like this one here i would say absolutely um because it doesn't have like those heavier chunkier spangles in it um, this is mostly the flat uh, st uh, spangles. And I always use solvent resistant unless otherwise stated in my store. Um, so this is a mix. And I'm I'm doing this one because I want to do this one next on my nails. It's called Starlight Star Bright. And um, so what I'm going to do is this mix. Um, I'm just going to look and see here. I have... I think all my measuring spoons are in my dishwasher. Um, oh, I got one here. So basically, this is what I do with it. Um, this is a one teaspoon. And um, I always advertise that I put a minimum of a teaspoon in here. So let's just see how much is in here. Well, there's one heaping. You can see that's one heaping. And almost a level. So that was almost two teaspoons of mix that was in that bag. And I always, like I say, I advertise that there's a minimum of a teaspoon in each bag. But as you saw, that one was actually two. So it's good to measure it before you add the acrylic. Um, and this is going to be shown um, with acrylic, um, how I do it with that. And you can do it with gel and um, nail polishes, but I'm just going to stick with how to do it with the acrylic. Um, anyway, so I have a tablespoon here, um, mainly because, oh wait, I do have my other teaspoon. I didn't want to contaminate my acrylic that I use. Um, but I do have my other one that's clean, my other one teaspoon. So I pretty much know just by eyeballing it how I do it. So this, we're just going to call it two teaspoons of glitter mix. And I'm going to add two teaspoons. And I'm at an odd, odd angle here of acrylic powder. Where is my, there it is. I can't see what I'm doing. Um, so that's a one to one ratio. And that usually works pretty well if, uh, if you're doing um, like a finer mix like this one is a finer mix. And I cannot find my little stir thing. I'm just gonna use the end of my brush here. So that's usually, like this is a finer mix. So the one-to-one -one is usually pretty good. And I am going to add, so this was two teaspoons of acrylic powder, two teaspoons of glitter mix. I'm going to actually put another, just a little bit, just because I want it to last a little bit longer. I'm putting another teaspoon in. So that was three three teaspoons of acrylic to two teaspoons. Um, and the, the thing, how I, what I usually tell people is you can't take away the acrylic. You can always add more. So you can always kind of test it out. And, oh my goodness. 
<laughs> trap and everything. You can always um, add more acrylic powder um, if you don't like the consistency. Um, you can't take it away. So, you know, don't go too crazy. And I always use clear um, acrylic powder. Now, I'm not going to sit here and sculpt a nail just because it's going to take forever. But this will give you an idea of how it works for my mother who's going to be watching and probably some of my other family members on um, what do you do with that um <laughs> so um so anyway so that's basically it on how i mix the mixes and then here's now my my um acrylic mix and then i just have a practice nail and like i said i'm not going to sit there and sculpt it i'm just going to put it in the bottom um here's my acrylic liquid my monomer and I'm just using um, my Kalonsky, I think this is a 14, yeah, this is a number 14 brush. And I'm at, oh my god, this angle is horrible. I need to figure something a little bit better out here. So, let's see here. Um, yeah, I absolutely cannot see what I'm doing. So, I'm going to pick up some of the acrylic mixture and put it in I'm out of frame <laughs> so I'm just gonna put it in there and um just kind of pat it down just so you can kind of get an idea this is a really pretty mix I that's why I did this one because honestly this is going to be I think the next mix I use on my nails because this one is super pretty I'm just trying to spread it out a little bit here So, I don't know if you can see that. Now, if I would have took time to sculpt it, I can't even speak, to sculpt it a little bit. Um, it's not, my lighting sucks. <laughs> so, let's see if it'll, why won't it focus? It's not focusing. But that's it. It's not really focusing, and the top of this nail is a little bit scratchy. Um, but that is how it works. I'm going to actually sit here and do and show you here where I put put it in um, a dual form. Um, one of these dual forms um, I usually do that for swatching and you can kind of maybe see it a little better on here because I did test it out here I don't know why again it's not focusing it's just I don't know if it's my lighting if it's my background I don't know <laughs> but you can see the golden pop in there Maybe it's just too much sparkle going on with this one. It's just really struggling with it. I don't understand it. It is a very shiny mix. Because I do have, um, as you can see, there is a shimmer in there. I've got holographic in there. Um, the gold shimmer. There's a lot of stuff going on in this mix. And then that's just the purple nail bed that I used Um for my my fibro mix fibro nails um so anyway that's how that works and hopefully this is going to be <laughs> my next nail i want to do so i want to use that one but anyway so that is how i mix my um my glitter mixes into um into acrylic and i'm just kind of cleaning my brush off here so i can put it away and close up the monomer before 
everybody in my house starts complaining. So let's get that closed up. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, just comment down below. Um, uh, if, you know, anything like that, just comment down below. I hope this was helpful. Um, again, like I said, this is not a video for everybody or most of you who are subscribed to me pretty much already know what to do. Again, I thought, you know, I take advantage of showing this because I, I have had a couple people ask me to, you know, how, what's your ratio to, um, uh, the glitter mixes to acrylic powders. So that's what I do. Um, again, um, comment down below if you have any questions. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in my next one. Love y'all. Bye.